Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. Alla fine Forza You bet Oh wait Wait Ciao Juventini of the world Ciao some guy Ciao Clement Ciao Blagioce90, ciao Giuliano Dos Santos, ciao Dexter, ciao Dario, ciao Luis, ciao Gigi Stiuve, ciao Michael, ciao to everyone, I hope you are doing well guys, guys we are back, we are back for, as I said, the Juventini of the night, I don't know where you are in the world, by the way, let me know where you are in the world, where are you watching, uh, is it from a, a country where it's already night, like Julian Dos Santos in Netherlands, where it's already the same time as me, like midnight and 12 minutes? Is it from a US, where actually it's not the night, but the evening? Is it from a, another country? Let me know, I'm really curious. Burkina Faso for Nader Kawar. Dexter Coli saying t t t t t Louis Helbert from Australia. That's the morning, the morning. First thing in the morning, waking up and watching the nightlife of Giuseppe. Ciao, Mr. Balos. Boston, Luxembourg, Moyen. In Luxembourg, they say Moyen to say hello. Uh, Sweden, beautiful country. You will be happy with the third shirt because we have the leaks of the new third shirts. By the way, guys, I have something to show you today. But we will wait a bit. Uh, look, we have the home shirt, but look what's behind. Look what's behind. You see something behind? Do you see something behind? I think you see something behind. We will show it later. We will show it later. First life. Uh, I think I am the first real person because the players they are not real person they are legends they are icons but the real person that will show you that only in the night tomorrow i will do unboxing i will post the video of course but uh uh now we'll focus on other things i will show you the real shirt this evening mamma mia from zambia we have people from albania uh ciao beppe from canada i love canada i was there once when i was a kid i was 14 in canada uh, ciao Thomas, Malta from Jacob, Malaysia, 
we have people from Libya, Malta, it's uh, mid 913, same time as here, Bosnia, Mire, ah, that's, uh, I remember, Mire was asking about uh, Pjanic, eh? Mire, Bosnia, Pjanic, now I understand why, I was not uh, bad, eh? Ciao, G just put a win for Tariq, eh, Tariq, the guy that uh, made the amazing intro with people from Senegal, from Chicago. This is beautiful. This is really beautiful. Uh, Indonesia, London. I miss London. Youssef, I miss London so much. Mm. So, ciao Lord Alistair, Juventino for life. Guys, today I had the second vaccine. My arm is hurting me so much. Mamma mia. Then I had to even do TikToks today. Today I had to do TikTok. I didn't post it yet, but I had to do TikToks. Can you imagine I'm 39, I have to do TikToks. I have to do what we have to do. It's life. Mm. So ciao to everyone. Now that people are starting to enter the life, what will we speak about? Uh, you saw huh? uh, the third shirt that leaked. We saw that today there was the presentation of the away shirt officially by Juventus. We had a good news because Padoin, Simone Padoin, joined officially the staff of Massimiliano Allegri. Uh, Demiral, voices of Demiral to Atalanta. Romero nearly done to Tottenham for a big money, eh? 40 million. Mamma mia, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. Uh, so Demiral. Romero, we have to speak about McKenny today as well because he's doing great things. Apparently, he's already at the top of his form. So let's see. Uh, Dybala, we can give an update. Ciao, Jan. Uh, who's saying give a like in advance? I'm not. I'm usually I'm not watching the likes in the beginning of the of the of the live. At a certain moment, we put the target and then we put the beautiful music. I will put the music now so that you hear what music we will do if we reach a certain target. I love that one. I really, really, really love. And uh, today we will also play a game because we have only 45 likes. So uh, if it's uh, not enough, I don't show you the, the, the shirt live, live. This is the deal. So what do we speak? What do we start speaking about, guys? Uh, I prepared some pictures of the away. I prepared a video of the away kit tomorrow. Guys, you can't imagine today I had a meeting. You know with who I had a meeting? With the head head design of football apparel from adidas the head of design football apparel of adidas top 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 the person that is actually uh, leading the team that is designing the shirts of adidas i had a meeting because tomorrow i will be live with uh, that person um on twitch of juventus we will do an interview we will speak about of course the away shirt that has been uh, today of uh, officially been on the site explaining the inspiration and so on but then we'll also explain the process of a shirt how do they do a shirt from the beginning how long uh, do they need to do a shirt is it three months before is it one year two years before what are the ideas how do they work together to create a collection of home away third shirt then we have the accessories uh, so it will be really 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 a beautiful life because i know that a lot of you sometimes you are complaining about something you want to know the inside of how we do a shirt for a brand of football so what better person than her it will be amazing just amazing so today i had a great meeting with her um Let's see, yeah, because uh, I have a uh, Lukama that is actually uh, writing something really nice. I have good, I feel good when I'm watching you. It makes my day. Grazie, Lukama. Grazie, Lukama. Uh, Manuel Locatelli. Yeah, people want to speak about Manuel Locatelli. Uh, Manuel Locatelli. Um, yeah, let's speak about Lu uh, Manuel Locatelli and then uh, we will uh, speak about the third shirt. We have Friday. Friday who's saying ciao from Napoli. Ciao, Friday. So, Manuel Locatelli, what do you want to know about Locatelli? Locatelli, but today on the papers it was quite clear. Huh? Uh, on Corriere dello Sport, if I'm not wrong, they were saying Manuel Locatelli, uh, he will go to Juve because he said to uh, Arsenal officially 
no, 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 I will not go to Arsenal. I prefer to stay at Sassuolo than go to Arsenal. So otherwise it will be Juve. They will have a third meeting, a decisive meeting next week, Juventus and Sassuolo. Why decisive? Because they already saw one time to ask information. They went a second time with a first proposal. And then the third meeting will be decisive where Juventus will go for Manuel Locatelli. I consider, and a lot of us consider already Manuel Locatelli a Juve player. It's just a matter of time. There are 5% that it will flop. If it flops, there is a B plan and it is a Miralem uh, Pjanic. Miralem Pjanic, today the Barcelona uh, management, they spoke about uh, Miralem. And they said that they know that last year he didn't have a lot of uh, uh, timing of play, time of play. He was not a starter and they know that he wants to go in another team. They said that at the moment they are not, but they are really open to listen, to give him a chance to be actually a starter. So actually Barcelona today, they officially said that uh, they don't believe in the player and that he is on the market. So... We knew, huh? Eh? There is no surprise there, huh? Eh? We already have 100 likes. I love you, guy. More likes than people on the chat. Uh, Pjanic, new post. Uh, which post? Is it the post where he is actually saying, calma, calma? He as well, eh? I think the players are fooling us a bit. They are playing a bit uh, with us. Uh, because, indeed, uh, they, are, uh, they are making a bit of jokes. So let's go to Instagram. I know, I know the post that you are speaking about. Uh, so let's go to Miralem Pjanic. Um, up here is Miralem, and indeed, eh, so you see the picture: black shirt, a uh, black shirt, white box, black phone, white coffee from Starbucks. We see it. Eh? I don't know what name he puts on the Starbucks cup. Yeah, it, I think it's Miralem. Eh? Miralem, yeah, yeah, I can see it. Miralem. And he's actually writing Calma. Why Calma? Because if you go back to Locatelli, guys, we will go back immediately. Mamma mia, you saw the third shirt already. So Locatelli, Manuel, uh, that I'm not following. Eh? I don't follow the players until it's officially a Juve player. So, but here, what do we see? We see calma, we see the word calma from Locatelli and then we see the word calma from Pjanic. So indeed, the post is uh, makes totally sense, guys. Um, so do you want to speak about the, the second shirt or the first shirt uh, to start with? And then we speak about the other things about Mercato. The second shirt, I have images, I have a video that I can show you. Juventus allowed me to show you the video, beautiful video. Um, and I can show you the, the I can show you the shirt because I have it here next to me. So that's one thing. Or we go to the third, and it's just the leaked images, but we can speak uh, about it. So people are saying first, the first shirt, Dexter. The first shirt, uh, I already wore it. You can see it in the thumbnail. There is nothing really uh, suspense anymore. Uh, oh, it, because I received uh, something. Okay, no, it's okay, it's okay, nothing uh, nothing wrong. So can you show us uh, more the home shirt? Yeah, okay, Let, let's do, let's let's start with the home shirt because I see the second, 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 Beppe tweet, calma. I, I think I should do a picture with me and doing uh, calma indeed. That's the home shirt, guys. That's the home shirt, really beautiful shirt. At the moment I have no player because I'm, uh, uh, because I had it uh, a few time ago, so, so the, the players I will put in when I will go to Torino, I will put all the players. So I have, what do we see here? We see the stripes, the solid stripes. I don't know if you're able to see, but in the black stripes, you have actually the stars around the stadium. It's actually the, the pavement of, around the stadium. Really beautiful, well done with the message. 10 years at home because we are 10 years in our new stadium. You see also here, this is referring to our stadium, you know our stadium. So we will celebrate and we will do this year a lot of activities around the stadium. For the people that are following the channel, I told you this week would be a week of surprises. And what does come 
we launch the shirt and on Saturday we have a friendly. I told you there would be surprises around the Juve world. No player at the moment, but at least we have some activities. So this is uh, it. And then what do we have? We also have the 4XE new sponsor. We talked about it yesterday. Um, it's not a new sponsor. It's still the same sponsor because 4XE is a car from Jeep. So they have different Jeeps, of course. You have the Jeep Wrangler and so on. And then you have the 4XE in Jeep. So a new uh, addition, let's say. But we saw uh, Emirates is paying 10 million for the uh, home shirt of Milan as a sponsor. And then you have Jeep who's paying 45. That's 4.5 more times than Milan. So I'm not complaining. I'm happy. You can write whatever you want on the under Jeep. I'm happy. I will not complain. So absolutely not. Where will the cup patch B. I can show you on the away because there I already have the cup patch. I will show you. Um, so we go to the uh, to the pictures first. Now we go to the pictures. So what did I prepare? The landscape. Yeah, here we are. Look at that. That's the away shirt that was presented. I don't even know if that picture uh, was already shown, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful picture. I really love it. And then you have the players. And before people starting to complain, why is not Ronaldo on uh, with the shirt? Why did they didn't they sponsor Ronaldo? Here is Ronaldo, guys. Here is Ronaldo. He's there uh, with the shirt already uh, beautiful 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 image of Cristiano Ronaldo with the shirt and then we have uh, Federico Chiesa here as well with the shirt with a beautiful smile uh, I didn't know that he had uh, actually uh, red hair with uh, with a picture you see that he has actually red hair huh? Federico Chiesa I didn't know Adlan is saying that he's late you are not late you are just in time um, what else do we have? We have Matthias De Ligt here uh, with the shirt. Uh, I don't know what size the guy need, but uh, he is a beast, a beast, a beast. And then I have a fourth one. It is Paolo Dybala. Paolo Dybala with the shirt as well. Uh, I love it. I love it. Really beautiful shirt. Really beautiful. So what I will do, guys, together with you now is showing you the video. Normally, the subtitles are in English. You will be able to read it as well. And then we will speak about, about the inspiration of the shirt. Tomorrow we'll have even more uh, infos. But uh, um, the beautiful video that I, I'm allowed to show you. That's beautiful. Juventus are giving me a, a lot of beautiful things. Uh, George is saying, how was the vaccine? It hurts. It hurts, George. So let's see the video together. Metaphysical city full of lights and nights. We used to wander from club to club. Ma ogni giorno il sole tramonta. E la cosa più superba è la notte. Quando cadono gli ultimi spaventi e l'anima si getta all'avventura. Dressed in black, we walk through the dark. We blend with its hectic atmospheres and we let the shadows mix with iridescent lights. We are the sound that endlessly echoes the stage and the crowd merging together. Always forward, never stand still. We dance. We will be back again. Guys. This is amazing. This is simply amazing. What a beautiful video that I was able to show you. Muadzer is saying Beppe dancing like Quadrado. It's true. I'm dancing like Quadrado. Tomorrow, hopefully, it will be a bit less hot because it's crazy. It's crazy hot here in Belgium. Mamma mia, crazy. The weather is crazy. What a beautiful video. Tomorrow, not only the head of design of Adidas will be on the channel to explain about the, uh, the shirts, but also this person, the person that is actually, I will show you here, uh, this man, Pastore. It's not the Pastore from PSG, so don't believe in uh, him, 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 him. Let's, that guy. 
him. He will be also on the live Carlo Pastore. He will be together because he's taking care of Club to Club Association in uh, Torino. Club to Club is actually uh, an association for electronic music in Torino that is going from club to club. Really nice. To Tomorrow he will even give us more information about what they do and uh, the shirt actually that we see. I will show you again uh, uh, this image. The shirt that you see here is really inspired by the nightlife in Torino, the electronical music that we have and also the inspiration for the Yav of the city of Torino. So three big, big, big things. Really love it. It's really great. Uh, so it will be really fun. Really fun to see. And I love the shirt. So the question I want to ask you before I show you the, the shirt in real life, guys, it's a poll uh, that I want you to rate the shirt before showing you real, real life. How much do you rate the shirt? Is it? Let's see if the poll will pop up. Yes. Is it between 9 and 10? Is it between 7 and 8? Between 5 and 6? Or less than 5? I want to know. Rating, of course, on 10. Um, so I'm really curious about your vote now that you saw the shirt because it's really, really beautiful. Eh? Uh, Alan is already saying, I am in love with the Away shirt. Uh, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Uh, people uh, were reacting to the people they were seeing in video. Uh, Alan, I'm away uh, in love with the Away shirt. Will players be able to shake hands before a game? Away team to home team? I don't believe so. Another time, please, Giuseppe. What another time? You want uh, me to see me dance? You want to see the video? Um, not Javier Pastore. No, no, no. He will not be with me. Uh, I really like the Adidas lines on the shoulders. They are really beautiful. Super beautiful shirt. A 10. Here we have an 8 of Mohamed. Uh, the ratings at the moment, if we check them, we have a 60% that are racing from a 9 to a 10. And I agree with that rating because I really love it. And now I will show you real life the shirt guys uh, because it's beautiful so i show you the the home this is the away kit what a beautiful shirt guys without exaggeration let me show you look at the lights and here is the patch of copitalia here is the patch of copitalia here if you see it's reflecting and you have a little j inside look at that you see the j of juventus the j yeah. here it is so what do we have? A really wide color. That's what we have. A beautiful color. We have the three stripes. That is a gradient from orange to pink here. Uh, we don't have the message 10 years at home this time. If you want to see my size, it's a large. Uh, everything else is white with the three stars. You have here the logo of Juventus. You have the Jeep logo and then you have the 4XE. The 4XE that is quite beautiful, I have to say, on the, on the shirt. And it's really beautiful on the shirt. Uh, why? Because it's really, it makes sense with the electronic music. And then you have also the sleeves here who are quite uh, wide as well. And then we have uh, Alan who's saying, unfortunately, the Italy flag won't be on it. Uh, Alan, thank you for the message. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, but it's true. This time the, the flag will not be there. We have it uh, on the Coppa Italia because it's still the Italian flag, but it's not the Scudetto. Let's try to win it again, but it will never be on that shirt. If you want to see the retro of it, look at here, retro of the shirt. Total black with the sh just the, the the sleeves with the, the still the neon lights that remember the sparking neon lights that remember the nightlife of Torino. But then you have a really black box where the white numbers will be on it. At the moment, guys, at the moment, and let me know what player you would put on it. But at the moment, I'm thinking to put Federico Chiesa on the home. Federico Chiesa with the number 22 here on the home with black letters. And here, can you guess? Can you guess the player that I want to put on this, this shirt? Let me know which one. I will stop the vote now. We have 57% majority saying 9 to 10, 7 to 8 for 37. And then a few people that doesn't like it. It makes sense. It tasted. Huh? It's a different taste that the people have. 
So what player? Quadrado, Ronaldo, uh, Dybala, Chiellini, I'm just trying to read, Kedira, no, I will not put Kedira, I will not put Morata, not Rabiot on that one, not King Bernardeschi, uh, Clement, Clement, Mendy will pit McKenny, and Scott Viano is also saying McKenny like Mired 10. I believe that this shirt, I'm not sure, I'm waiting until I go to Torino, but I think that this shirt, it smells. It smells McKenny. I want to put the number 14 of McKenny on that shirt. I think it's perfect shirt for McKenny. I believe at the moment. Then you never know with the Mercato, but I believe that McKenny can be there. Yeah, yeah. McKenny on that shirt should be really beautiful. So that's what I uh, intend to do. McKenny with the number 14 on that shirt. I think that could be really, really beautiful. So no CR7, no Locatelli. Uh, your name, Beppe. Bah, my name. Um, I never put my name on a shirt. I have a shirt with G just Juve. No, it's actually G just Pizza uh, on the shirt. I receive it as a gift from a real dear friend. Uh, on the third uh, shirt of last year, I have one with Kuluzevsky and then I have another one with uh, Gigi's Pizza. <laughs> but I'm not really someone that put my own name. I love to have the collection of the shirt and also a player. Then it can play well or not. But, uh, Dybala would be also a really beautiful number on that shirt. Eh? I believe with the number 10 in white can be really a beautiful contrast. But I think I will go crazy. Uh, Quadrado, I would have put Quadrado, but I already bought the uh, Farrell, the pink Farrell with Quadrado with the 16. So probably I would go for a McKenny. But Quadrado would be really beautiful on that one as well. I agree. I agree. Um, so this this is about the, the away shirt. I show you the video. I show you the shirt in real life and that's the first time you see it on the channel. Uh, tomorrow I will take away the red and the blue so that you can really see it. Wait, I will show you another time with just the real natural light, guys. Uh, guys, now you even see it better with the natural light. Look, look, at, the, look at, the, at the three stripes on the shoulders. Look, come on, guys. This is a perfect short shirt, perfect shirt, really beautiful, really, really, really beautiful, really beautiful, love that one, mamma mia, it's crazy, came out today, already in the mailbox, looks even better under natural light, yeah, 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 absolutely, yes, absolutely, yes, you see, I'm sweating like crazy, yeah? it's warm. It's good, but not better than last year home kit. Mm, no. So now that we spoke about it, because uh, even Guido Gencarelli is saying amazing shirt. Uh, can we go to the third shirt? Or do you want to know a bit more detail? Do you want to see again the video that I showed you with uh, the inspiration of uh, uh, Torino? Let me know. What do you want to know? We, do we go to the third shirt or we see again the, the video inspiration with the music of Torino? That is really beautiful. Let me know. Uh, is it in stock on the Juve website, Giuseppe? Absolutely yes, Matthew. Absolutely yes. Uh, prima maglia 10, seconda, ter uh, nove, terza 6. The third year will be uh, a big controversy. Ciao, Ron. Ron Rusitano. This thing looks even better. Ciao. I didn't say hello to Ron. Uh, show the video again. You know what? Uh, we go first because people are asking yeah, for the for the third and then a bit later I will show the video again. Uh, ah, Evert is saying I got the home shirt with my name and number 18 because he celebrated 18 years. Uh, the third shirt will start a riot indeed. Look, let's go to the... Let's go to it. Wait, wait. I show you the picture. Leaked by La Maglia Bianconera. Maglia Bianconera is always, always really on top and anticipating all the shirts. They received that image from Texas because uh, a store in Texas, probably an Adidas store. If I look at the walls behind, I see the written there. So it's probably a, a store in uh, of Adidas because also the hats 
here. The beanies are from Adidas. It's an Adidas store in Texas. And they actually leaked the picture. So that's the first picture. And then you have the second one a bit more close up. You see, uh, again, with the 4XE that will be on the three shirts, home, away, and third. That's the shirt, guys. That's the shirt. People are saying, what is this? Ravi is not happy, huh? Rapid, uh, it's he's not happy at all. I give a six on ten. We will do a we will do a poll how many you give on that one. Uh, it's controversy. It's really a big controversy because you have people that will love it and you will have people that will hate it. I understand that. Like last year, the orange shirt, people some people loved it, some people uh, hated it. I understand it's tasted and you know what i say i always say guys uh the third shirt for me go with creativity go with different markets uh let's go let's go do crazy as you want to i have really no problem with that absolutely not um they are indeed like must jupe. He's saying these are the colors of Torino. The blue and the yellow are the colors of Torino. Here we have really uh, different shapes, triangle, rectangular, uh, square. Uh, we have all all different shapes. We have white. It's a real picture. Huh? I'm sure it will. That will be the shirt uh, because it comes from an Adidas store. Huh? I like it. Why? Because I love yellow. It's my favorite color. Yellow. So here already, we start with a, a good point. Is that my favorite shirt ever? Probably not, but I have no problem with the third shirt that is totally crazy, crazy. As long, as long as you do this for me, uh, really clean and respecting the tradition on the home shirt, if you do this and you, and you are able, guys, and you are able to show me that as a, a way that is really a, a, a jewel, go crazy with the third. Go crazy with the third. I have no problem with that. The blue Adidas stripe is the worst. Uh, the blue Adidas stripe. Ah, here, the one uh, that is going uh, crazy uh, also. Uh, it's true, huh? it's crazy because it's not respecting a normal pattern. So it will be shock. Huh? I don't like the 4XE thing. Uh, I know a lot of people are saying it. Uh, do I? I would probably have preferred without, to be honest. Um, yeah, probably, yes, because how cleaner, how more beautiful. But at the end, I, I told you, I'm 45 million euro. I have no problem with that. And it's not, it's not disgusting. Look, on the home shirt, it's beautiful. On the away also. And here, it's, it finds, it, it, they are finding the space to put it. But I understand the comments. Ron is hating it. Four on ten. Colors are okay, but the pattern leaves a lot to be desired. You know why I love this kind of shirts? Uh, Robin is also not happy because he's saying clown shirt. Uh... This is to say thank you to Verona. Absolutely, yes. Uh, sponsor our sponsors, sadly. Beppe, we need a poll. We, we will do a poll. We will do a poll. I like. Nice. Uh, for a third. You see, James, James is loving for a third. And you know why I love the third? Because at the end, what you are doing, you are uh, opening the market. And they are really thinking about... Uh, streetwear they are thinking about uh you go to the to the club you are really you know really the 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 people are really into fashion uh young kids uh, or uh, even you know I, I would love it you go to the beach you go with that one beautiful skinny jeans you have a uh, your uh, your fresh sneakers the shirt is great it's great in the summer with that one you will you will have a, a lot of lovers that will ask where is that shirt from because they love it in the summer beautiful tent beautiful that shirt will be crazy now if we are speaking about football playing on the ground uh, maybe it's a bit controversial I understand I love it and again uh, my thoughts and I repeat and then we speak about Mercato my thoughts are the first shirt you make it classic you respect the history solid 
black and white stripes. The second one, you give me a solid color. No crazy thing, but solid color. A jewel, because that's what I expect from the second. And then the third, go crazy, go with orange, go with blue, yellow, do asymmetrical uh, lines. I have no problems at all. Open the market as long as in the world they will see the Juve logo everywhere. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want the logo of Juve everywhere, guys. This is it. So let's do a poll now about that and then we go speaking about Mercato, guys. So the poll, what is the poll? Third shirt rating. Nine to 10, we will do the same. Huh? Seven to eight. Six to, s no, no, no. Five to six or less than five we go as well now we do three minutes and then we check what people are saying i want to pick pink jersey again but we had last year huh? as a fourth shirt we had last year i look everything about juve don't care how the shirt looks i love i love not i look i love but i am a bit the same uh, i'm a bit the same i love everything as well I'm not so good at English, sorry about that. No problem, Maria. Uh, no problem at all. You're welcome. I'm not good at the English neither. So no problem with that. Uh, it looked like the Inter third kit. It was the fourth kit of Inter. Uh, yeah. No, it's different, but I understand. I understand because it was also some blue, some yellow, some black. They had black. Uh, they even had really, really strange uh, patterns, but... Yeah, we can say the same about us. Two on ten. Julian hates the shirt. So let me see where we are after uh, 81 votes. Uh, majority is saying 34% is saying less than five. Less than five. 11%, still 11. That means eight person on, no, nine person on 83. They say from nine to ten. They love the third shirt. So actually, if you are looking here, 12% plus 26% plus 28% they are rating the shirt more than 5. That means that we have already 65% of people that likes it. Uh, no, like from 7 to 10 we have 37%. That's a lot. That's a lot. 37%, even more now, 38% on 100 person. That said, it's between a 7 and a 10. That means you have a market. You have a market that probably will buy that shirt. If you multiply that by a million person, then you have a 370,000 person that will buy the shirt. Think like that. Uh, it looks like a ref kit. I love the shirt eight on 10 down from uh, nine cause of the raindrops. Ah, but Tarek, you are speaking about the away shirt. Now we are speaking about the third shirt. 10 on 10, uh, I will enjoy in PES 22. Uh, home of Juve, you have to change the name. PES doesn't exist anymore. From now on, it will be only eFootball for free on all platforms. Uh, I don't know what they want to do. I think it will be a buy to win or uh, I don't know. But uh, it will be free. The game will be free. eFootball and not PES anymore. That's over. Um... We continue. Do we continue? Yes, we continue. Marco De Pasquale. I just don't like the yellow-white contrast. But it's true that it's a bit special. Eh? Wait, let me check again. Wait here. It's really special. It's really special. Then, when a shirt is on a player, it's always a bit different when they play. But uh, I like. But I understand that the, that tint of yellow with the white can be it's it's shocking eh? it's really shocking it's really shocking but it is what it is guys um i was hoping for a pink kit no uh, no just buy first and second kit simple uh, it's already a lot eh, guys 
210, it's trash, Pepe, come on. And, and that is actually a discussion I had today on, uh, uh, on Twitter with someone who said it's the ugliest shirt ever uh, about the... About this one, about this one, yeah. They were speaking about this one this morning and someone said to me, it's the ugliest shirt ever, disgusting. Why did they put the lines? I don't like it. And I said, really polite because it's an opinion. I said, you know, it's tastes that are different from one person to another. It makes sense. Uh, I respect, uh, but I really like it. And then he showed me the one that he loved and he showed me, four shirts and one of the shirts was the green you remember the lime green that i also have here i have pirlo on it really the uh, from nike and this shirt for me it's disgusting i really hate the color on it i hate everything about that shirt it's for me it's really ugly i bought it of course but uh and and i was saying to him you know it's really funny because it's one of your preferred one and for me it's one that i really don't like so Tastes that are different. So we can't say, come on, Beppe, like Mohammed is actually asking me, come to my side, come and say that it's disgusting, Beppe. Uh, I don't agree with that. Um, for me, it's tasted. And I respect when people say, I really don't like it because it's really shocking and it's totally not football. Let me go back. Uh, it's strange, asymmetrical forms, especially the one next to the color. Uh, then you have here, you have the Jeep, you have the 4XE, you have uh, triangles, you have... Uh, it's really strange. So I understand that it's chucking and people can say, I don't like it. I totally understand. But uh, it is what it is. And now I will stop the vote after five minutes because uh, majority said less than five, 34%. But then we still have people that loves it. So... Uh, only 109 likes not a lot today today you are uh, difficult to convince huh? i hate it i hate it uh, looks like a volleyball <laughs> i know i know i saw that uh, meme online juve is on fire i agree especially with the shirts today a little bit less with the players uh, but we knew it huh? they must be drunk we have the same amount of scudetto as ronaldo's age it's true Beppe should be a dancer. I was a dancer. People will laugh and they will not believe me, but I was. Looks like an American club design. Uh, it's not disgusting, it's different. I can't wait to see players in it. Ah, me too, me too, because that will reveal everything. Eh? You should do a video on kids from the last 20 years and rate them 1 to 10. Uh, yeah, but you know what? The, the videos about shirts, they don't have a lot of views. I don't know why people have a, uh, a bit less interest in shirts. I love, uh, you know, my passion about shirts. They have a bit less interest uh, and it's taking a lot of time. It's really taking a lot of time. So, Ben, Beppe, when are you going on vacation? The 31st, the 31st of July, if everything is okay. 31st of July and I come back the 9th of August. Uh, what do you think? Honestly, honestly. 10 days I'm away. Vacation, Beppe. I will not spoil. I took a decision. I took a decision with my family on vacation. Okay? So I will go to Greece, to Rhodos, and the Polish life. I will be on vacation. Will I upload videos? Yes or no? During my vacation. Will I upload videos during my vacation? Yes or no? I wait a bit and I will reveal you. Let's speak a bit about Mercato if you want to, if you would love to. I would love to speak a bit about Mercato. So, of course, we spoke about Alex and Paolo. We already spoke about it yesterday night. You know about that. Uh, he will renew. 
just to keep you up to date uh, today we had even more confirmation um, that uh, it's not an injury it's a muscle fatigue it happens it means that he's really working hard he met del piero he called him il mio capitano my captain uh, so so paolo di bala he will renew Chiellini and Quadrado and that's the news I saw I want to speak about Chiellini because one football you know that one football uh, they are writing articles but a lot of time they also report articles from people that uh, actually report articles on one football and the guys that wrote that articles so not one football but the guys that wrote it and we speak about Calcio Mercato in Italy guys they have no idea they, they are really not reliable okay calcio mercato the website is not reliable and the people that goes and take information from calcio mercato or they have nothing to do or they they don't don't, don't understand because what are they saying you know that at the moment chiellini he has no contract uh extension okay because he has no contract at the moment he's not even a juve player okay and here they are saying chiellini's jerseys is on display Juve's official store offers some clues on next season squad. So if we go to the store of Juve, store Juventus, you go. You see the new shirt. Okay, you take your shirt up. And then you go to Giocatori players. Okay, and you go and you see indeed you have Chiellini. And then you say, oh, they have Chiellini. That means actually that Chiellini will be a player of Juve. They already put his shirt there. And according to here, you see, according to Calcio Mercato, Juve's official store could offer some market clues. The club officially released the away kit next season and it's now on display. Apparently, the fans are able to purchase a jersey with Chiellini's name on the back, which effectively confirmed beyond doubt that the great defender is set to remain to Torino. I will show you something and uh, we will show you that, uh, guys, the, the guys that are following the channel here, uh, they know a bit more. They know a bit more because if we go to the home shirt, guys, the home shirt, and we go to goalkeeper, what do we see? That you are able to buy Buffon. So at the moment, people are able to buy Buffon. So if we go back to the article who's saying Calcio Mercato, speaking about Calcio Mercato, are saying yeah but they put buffon <laughs> so that means that we will be able to buy buffon's shirt uh Chiellini, he has a contract extension because he's on the side no if you are calcio mercato you have to make a big a bit more researches how is it possible that me i know and you don't know so it's just that the numbers after Quadrado and Danilo, they were, because Quadrado and Danilo, they renewed, uh, they changed the number of their shirt. It means just that they didn't update the names of the shirt. That's it. That's simply it. I'm sorry, Calcio Mercato. I'm sorry. So that's one thing that I really wanted to tell you. Can Chiellini can play one more year. Now, now, pay attention, huh? Uh, that we said that that being said Romeo Agresti just said that Chiellini extension is 101% absolutely absolutely yes yes I agree Chiellini will be there but it's not because of the shirt on the on the side it's because Chiellini will extend so on that one we agree uh, the torture is ugly Fabrizio Romano and Romeo Agresti are the only highest reliable sources in transfer market. Uh, yeah, now they they try to Calcio Mercato try to make something like I will, will tell you about. But uh, yeah, why? Because uh, uh, most of the time they are not anticipating too much. They are waiting so until they are sure, uh, until they are sure about it. Beppe. Who will come instead of Arthur? Tolisso, Pjanic or Paredes? We are speaking about a, 
uh, about that a lot of time. Uh, let's first close the deal of Locatelli and then let's see if we are finding a four striker and what four striker. And from there we can think about the second uh, midfielder. Depends on the price they are asking. Guys, I have a news. I have a bad news to tell you for the people like me that loves uh, Pogba. Uh, I will show you the news. Pogba rejects 350k per week in pounds. Ciao, Muhammad. Uh, contract at Manchester United. I heard from some sources that uh, next month, so August, it will go to Paris Saint-Germain. I heard from some sources that it will go to Paris Saint-Germain. Then uh, I don't know because uh, I uh, I only care about Juve, but it's true that uh, Fabrizio Romano is explaining it. Uh, I spoke with other person and a lot of people are saying that uh, he's near to Paris Saint-Germain. It's really strange because uh, Pogba, uh, normally, he's, he, he, because his parents come from Marseille, it's true that he, he lived or support Marseille because he was born in Paris, yes. But uh, um, it's really strange because I thought that he would never go to Paris Saint-Germain, but apparently... Something had tra attracted him there. Uh, check out the team they are building. Uh, imagine a Verratti with a Pogba in the middle, with a Wijnaldum. Beautiful, eh? uh, Neymar, uh, Mbappé, Sergio Ramos, Hakimi, Donnarumma. What a team, what a team. So Pogba... Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao to the dreams of uh, Juve. Uh, Griezmann, Griezmann, they said uh, Barcelona, the, at the moment there are no offers for him. If there are some offers, he will probably uh, uh, go. People are saying don't upload during your vacation. Normally people are saying go and upload during your vacation. Let me see, by the way, the poll, because I forgot about the poll. So, uh, 100 votes, 67% are saying yes, you will upload. 33 said no. Um, I will upload, guys. Come on. I will upload. Not editing. I will not edit the videos because that takes really long and I'm on holiday. But uh, in the morning, I will read the papers. I will take my phone. I will go outside. Beautiful weather uh, before it's going to be hot. And I will do some uh, 8, 10 minute video. I do. No intro, no blah blah. I put it online, and uh, and here we go. Just to explain you a bit uh, the last information. So I will do some shorts as well. That's really nice on YouTube. It's a beta. I love that. Uh, so yeah, I will do. I will do. So sixty-seven percent were correct. The money bliss with Cristiano up to uh, top man. If Romero goes to Spurs and Atalanta go for Demiral, then then can be a Gosen swap. Today I heard that Juventus is still interested in Gosens, even if it will be really, really difficult. Uh, showing an interest doesn't mean that you will buy a player. Huh? Let's be sure about that. Beppe, stop calling uh, Oil FC beautiful. They are ruining football. No, I didn't explain uh, the whys and the hows. It, it just, let's be honest, if you have a team like that on paper, the, the team is beautiful. I didn't say that the owners of Paris Saint-Germain are beautiful, but it's true that having a team like that, having a mercato transfer market like that, it's it's beautiful. Then against the law, uh, yes or no? That's some. That's another chapter where I I'm not really happy what what with what they are doing, especially after the Super League affair, uh, where people were really really. Uh, explaining me and telling me Giuseppe you are wrong that you won the Super League and now some people are changing their mind but uh, if we speak black on white on paper you give me a paper with these names you don't tell me who bought them what club or not 
Yeah, you can't say it's not beautiful. Eh? Mbappé, Neymar, uh, Icardi, who else do they have? They have so many players. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Should we bring back Favilli? Uh, to do what? No, Jacob. No, guys. Unpopular opinion. I don't want Gosens. But Gosens is difficult eh? because he's playing in a. He loves to play in a 3 5 2. And we will probably not play in a 3 5 2. So I'm probably he can play with a four man defending. When he was in Germany or in Netherlands, I don't remember. He was playing in a four man defense. Eh? Juventus proposed an exchange between Bernardeschi, Damskardu, Sandoria. We spoke about that. And Bernardeschi plus Frabotta for goals in Stu Atalanta. Juve has decided. Federico is on the market. Marcello Chirico. Um, but we know uh, it's not a secret. Huh? It's not a secret that uh, Bernardeschi is on the market. I believe we were speaking about that yesterday. Um, that um, indeed Bernardeschi was probably not in the plans of Juve. Then if he will remain, we will support him. Uh, but I, I don't believe that Juventus want to have him. Now, to Sampdoria, I don't believe he wants to go. To uh, Atalanta, maybe, yes. They have some big plans at Atalanta because if they really dream about the Demiral... Uh, yeah. Today someone told me Ah, Beppe, we lost, we lost 30 millions on Romero. Uh, because Atalanta will probably sell him for 40 millions to Tottenham. And uh, ah, 30 million, no. Because if he would have stayed at Juventus, he would probably not have played. And then uh, we would never be able to sell him at that price. So for me, we didn't lose money. Is it a pity? Uh, yes, Paratici knows the player, so he went for him. If Allegri can get some grinta and intensity in this team, we need uh, we don't need many more players. We have high quality. I agree, Simon, uh, the Rijmaker. Maker. I agree with that, Simon. Uh, absolutely, yes. Then, we still need a player. Right? We need a, someone on the left. But, apparently, there are two players that Allegri really believed in. And there are two players that are really impressing Allegri in the first days of training. So let, let us see if we can go into the images of the training of today. Uh, let me check. And then uh, we will uh, slowly stop. So, leggi l'articolo. Leggi l'articolo. Guarda le foto. <laughs> this one of, of today. They only had one session today. Eh? Only in the morning. So we go with the pictures. Uh, do you know the two players that impressed? Uh, so we have two players that uh, Allegri believes in. It's really Dybala and Kulusevski. But there are also two players that are impressing uh, Allegri in uh, the training. Who knows about the two players? Uh, grazie Luca. Grazie Luca. We have Demiral, Rugani, De Sciglio, Piazza. We have McKenny. Tin, Tin already guessed them. Huh? We have two players, and it is McKenny and uh, Luca Pellegrini. Indeed, huh? we see the goalkeepers. We see Allegri is pissed off. And look at that. I don't know to who. Maybe to Felix Correa. Uh, Demiral, look at his face. He's looking at Allegri. He really wants to stay. Uh, these were the pictures. Uh, Nicolussi, Hans Nicolussi is back in uh, pre-training. Look at that. Fights. Dragucin is still there. Uh, these are the pictures. But two players are convincing Allegri. And it is like Tin said. It is McKenny and also Luca Pellegrini. So on the left, uh, that's already something. Luca Pellegrini. So maybe he can be the player. I don't really believe in the player. I already told you. So I will not change my mind today. From the moment that he will be confirmed, I will support him and hope that uh, he will prove me wrong. Uh, he has some qualities. Pay attention. He has some qualities, but it's more character, personality that I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, you see, uh, fino alla fine is fino alla fine is saying Pellegrini always plays a really good preseason. 
it's true because I already saw him two years ago. He was doing a fantastic preseason and then he got totally lost. Uh, then uh, last year he did a really great preseason. We loaned him out, totally lost, also with injuries. Huh? Uh, Adi Singh is injury prone. So pay attention. Pay attention to players that are giving their best and 100% to, during preseason. Pay attention to that. And then we have uh, uh, McKenny. McKenny is impressing Allegri a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And that's simply amazing. Ciao, Sam, by the way. I didn't say hello to Sam. Uh, hopefully he can stay fit. But it's not a starter. I forget about Pellegrini as a starter. But McKenny. McKenny, we speak... In the beginning, we were not speaking a lot about McKenny. But McKenny has everything to succeed with Allegri. Why? Because he has uh, some dynamism. He can take balls with a header. He can run for 90 minutes if he has no problem with his hip. He's a great player in terms of uh, being positive and happy. A uh, player that loves to insert himself from the midfield. More and more people are saying that we will play a 4-3-3 to start with instead of a 4-2-3-1. Romeo Agresti was confirming that news. Remember yesterday we were talking about it. Uh, so let's see. And Mohamed, thank you for the donation, Mohamed. Saying if we have serious plans on Champions League, then our bench has to be strong. If you remember, Allegri had issue in midfield of uh, UCL, in the middle of the Champions League with injuries. It's true. It's true. I told you that Champions League is not something that you really... as as a target to win the Champions League. But it's true that you have a difference between having ambitious in, in ambition in Champions League and winning the Champions League. And having ambition means you will do everything that you can to win the Champions League. We are not doing a Mercato. A lot of people were considering our team poor. And I said yesterday or two days ago, I don't consider our team poor. For me, and I continue to repeat it, we have a great, good team. But we are missing some qualities in some departments of the field. Like the left back can be a problem. Uh, because Alexandro comes from two difficult seasons. Maybe he will revive with Allegri, but we are not sure. And then we need a second one that is really ready to start because if Alexander is not really strong or in a good shape then the second one has to prove himself so we can't go anymore with a Frabotta uh, without experience first year in Serie A we can't go for that and then some midfielders and I agree then if we speak about the two man midfielder Rab uh, Rabiot Bedancourt we are really wrong if we are speaking about um Locatelli, Rabiot, Bentancur, Fagioli. If you are speaking about McKenny and Arthur, I think that we have a beautiful mix of qualities. If we play with three men midfield, you can have as a starter, starting midfield, you can have Locatelli in the middle, Rabiot on the left, and then you can have uh, Arthur on the right. And then you can have, as a second option, Fagioli, the one that everyone wanted to see growing at Juventus. Fagioli in the middle, with on the left... Uh, no, sorry, 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 I was wrong. Rabiot. I'm not even sure, we have to see. No, no, no. Let's do a McKenny on the left. McKenny on the left. Locatelli and Arthur on the right. That's a beautiful team. That's a really beautiful uh, uh, midfield. So McKenny, Locatelli and Arthur. The B midfielders are Rabiot, Fagioli, Bendancourt. Guys, we start to have a complementary team eh? because we have people that like to insert themselves like uh, McKenny, we have people that can really change the game with long passes with left foot, right foot, lo like Locatelli. Physicality, McKenny and Locatelli are really physical players. McKenny is really great with the header. 
inserting yourself. Then you have an archer that is, has the skill and the ability to pre protect the ball, to keep the ball at his foot without actually uh, uh, losing the ball. And he's able actually to see the game going to the right, to the left. We have a beautiful. Then we have a Bentancur, we have a Rabiot that can enter the game. Uh, and we have a rising Fajoli. I'm happy with that midfield, guys. Then, if you give me Pogba, Sergei Milinkovic, Savic, Kroos, Toni Kroos, I'm even more happy. But we have to be... Uh, uh... No, he can play the two roles, uh, Adi. By the way, when he, play, when he played with the Yoff team, he played as a number 10. Uh, when he played with us, with Juventus, with Pirlo, he played a bit more behind. Uh... Louis Johnson. Yes, we do Fajoli. McKenny and Rabio are really good and strong. Uh, starting midfield Fajoli, McKenny, Rabio, we missed something. But if you add there Locatelli, uh, Arthur and Mendancur, then we start to have a great thing. Pepe, our fourth striker is Felix Correa. Felix Correa is not the number nine. Felix Correa is more a winger, uh, like Cristiano Ronaldo a bit in position, I'm speaking. He loves to go from the left entering uh, the field. So it's a more a winger than a number nine. So he will not be the fourth striker. And the last news I received is that uh, Juventus are thinking to loan him a bit. Pepe, what do you think about Mr. Assist Quadrado season this time? Uh, where did I see that? Uh, I don't know where I saw it. I don't know where I saw it, but uh, yeah, Quadrado, he will be on ah, here in Tuto Sport this morning. Look, wait, uh, I will show you. Grazie, Mohamed. I will pin your message in a second. I don't know what's happening, uh, but on one football they were speaking about it as well. Eh? Juventus veteran deemed to be an untouchable in Allegri's plan. Uh, Colombian had a major impact under Allegri. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, the 33 years old currently earns 5 million per season and the figure is expected to be maintained throughout the new contract until 2023. So, Quadrado, uh, no, he will continue. He will continue to, to stay at Juve. He will do great. And the positive thing with Quadrado, he can replace Danilo as a full uh, fullback on the right. He can also play offensively in a 4-3-3. Uh, he, can, he, can, he can do multiple roles. So, at the end, these players that uh, we don't see in the lineups as a starter in the preseason at the end they are the one that plays the most because they can do multiple roles so no no McKenny, uh quadrado absolutely will be a decisive man up or uh, a bit back i don't know um mohammad is saying if we go one three two four so four three two four two three one then McKenny will be our number 10. I know one, why Mohammed is writing 1 3 2 1. It's really strange, but I know why. Uh, because when we are writing in Arabic, we are writing from left, from right to left, while uh, in other countries we are writing from left to right. So it makes sense that when he's reading and when he's writing, he's writing 1 3 2 4. It's strange, it's funny, it's really funny. Uh, I was a bit confused, but I made the link immediately. So if we play 4-2-3-1, I expect Dybala to play there. But uh, McKenny has the, for me, he has the, the possibilities, the, the abilities to play there as well. Uh, but we have also Kulusevski that can play there or on the wings. So we have some players that can do a different roles. Huh? But I agree with you. Huh? A 10, he can do it easily in that position. Easily. It depends. You know, when we are playing actually a 4 2 3 1 and we put a Dybala as number 10, we will expect from our two wingers in a 4 2 3 1, the two on top, to come and to form actually a 4 4 1 1. If we play with McKenny as a number 10, then Allegri will expect McKenny to go back 
and then you will have a 4-3-3. You see the different actually task that you give uh, in possession, non-possession, you're still starting with a 4-2-3-1, but who is playing there will actually make sure that in a non-possession phase, you're changing your game. Because if you play with Dybala, Dybala is not strong enough to come and help the midfield. So you have the two wingers coming back. If you have McTenney there in that identical role, he will actually come back 4-3-3 with the wingers that are staying uh, uh, on top. You see? I love these tactic talks. I really love. Beppe, do you think Milan will beat Juve to sign Caio Giorgio? I think it's really near uh, for Caio Giorgio to Milan. I'm sorry, guys. I was curious to see him. Ciao, Ricardo. Always uh, Melbourne, Australian time in the morning. You see, instead of seeing the video uh, of the morning. By the way, today I was super late uh, with my video, but I had so many things to do. Can't imagine. It's always a pleasure to see Ricardo. And say hello uh, to the club. Say really hello. I get that you are all get excited to buy Mbappé in Holland, but I get more excited for a team that fights and get back on its feet uh, and wins back the Scudetto without throwing around money. I agree. Now, I agree. I love, I love the fact that uh, financial stability and uh, that you, without any worry, you can go and buy whatever player. You see, <laughs> a, a situation with Locatelli is annoying, for example, because I would also love that Juventus, they go and without negotiation too much, they put 40 million on the table. But then I try to be realistic and understand the moment. The moment says that... Uh, we can't do it anymore. It's hard. We lost 320 million, guys. It's it's serious. It's really serious. It hurts. So it's hard. It's really hard. Huh? Uh, and then I, I tell it and I will repeat it. For me, we have a great quality team. We miss a few things like a fourth striker, like an extra midfielder, maybe a left back if Pellegrini is not able to. Uh, and then we go, and then we go, and we try, because I believe that the team didn't show everything they uh, they had in possibilities. And Allegri is the man to do that. George Genuda from Aust Austria, I think tactics are the best thing in football. I love tactics, I really love tactics. Ciao, Anthony. How are you doing today? Good. If Caio Giorgio uh, is closer to Milan, who can come to Juve? Moise Keen? Um, Juve is a bit in delay yeah, with that because we have no uh, papers that are talking anymore about our fourth striker. You know what? Uh, there are two pending situations before talking about the fourth striker. The first one is about uh, uh, Ronaldo. Will he stay or not? more and more things are saying that he will stay but uh there is still psg that is around so pay attention to that um and then you have a dibala contract extension where i'm nearly sure that he will extend but it's still not on paper if one of them is leaving Juventus will go all in with a big player who can be the big player i saw today on one football guys I received a notification at a certain moment I will show you uh, where is it I might have lost it maybe it was too early ah here here Ooh. no no it's not here it's not here. Uh, I'm trying to find the news, but I can't find it here. It's okay, it's fine. I will tell you. So, um, it was about uh, Gabriel Jesus that uh, Manchester City today, they confirmed that he will stay, even if there are some interest, and Juve is still interested in Gabriel Jesus. Why? Because first we have to seal Ronaldo and Dybala. And that's why we are not going in, into a four striker because if both of them remains, we go for a four striker. 
we had the names of Malen that will go to Germany. We had the names of Moiskin, but he's already not anymore a four striker. Eh? Moiskin he already showed a lot of things. Uh, we had another one, I don't Caio Giorgio, that is close to Milan. Um, and now Juventus is actually thinking like, mm, wait, because these are the profiles everyone remains. A lot of them are going to other teams because Juventus is waiting. Why are they waiting? Because if Cristiano Ronaldo leaves or Dybala leaves, then we go will go for a big player, Gabriel Jesus. I heard today Timo Werner, I don't believe in it. Maybe the possibility to have Harry Kane, like we spoke two days ago, that we don't believe, of course, that news. But then maybe these are the strikers that can join Juventus if we have a Ronaldo or Dybala that leaves. And that's why we don't buy a fourth striker without knowing first what we are doing with the big ones. That's what I believe. Ciao Juventus Arabia. What about Nikolai Frederiksen? He did a super season with Tirol FC. I think he can uh, return from his loan. To be honest, I didn't follow uh, Tirol or... See, I, I think it's Tirol. Tirol FC. I, I don't know. Are you see? The comment uh, is rewritten, Tirol FC. Um, I think it's in Switzerland, huh? I'm not sure. Uh, it's true. Beppe and One Football. Name a better duo, guys. We, we are working with uh, One Football since uh, December now, eh? and we will continue to work together. I'm super happy to work with fun, One Football, guy, I tell you. I have the application on my phone, uh, I'm working, bam, notification, Kellini will extend, then, of course, one football is not always writing the article, so you have to filter, eh? check always who reports it to uh, one football, and you see Calcio Mercato, you say, okay, what are they saying? Then you see other sources are really great, really great reports, so, uh, and that's also why we are doing it in the evening, we are filtering. Colo, Colo, Colo! Look, Colo, because you are late, Colo. And then, I, no, no, first, first I want to say hello to Mohamed, and then I have something to show to Colo. In the last two seasons, we had serious issue in solid playmakers. Scoring was not our issue. Not worried about Allegri defensive plan. But defense is good. Uh, Allegri is good, and it's true that uh, playmakers is something that we missed. Now, I think as well that it's also the support that we had from our strikers that was not really helping our mid. We spoke about our midfield. It's true that having an even better midfielder it's, uh, would help. An offensive midfielder would help. And all our trust was or were on uh, Ramsey. And Ramsey disappointed. It is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, at the moment, Ramsey is not able to find a new team, so if he stays, he's still having a salary of 8 million euro a year. 8 million a year, at a certain moment, we, we have to let him play. And maybe he can be the one if he has a bit of a, a healthy situation, I don't know. Co and thank you, uh, Mohamed. Colo is saying, Beppe, if we don't sign or sell any players, where do you think we can finish in the league? Carlo, I was speaking about that earlier and I, uh, people will maybe think that I'm crazy, but other people were uh, confirming what I was saying. Uh, I believe that we really have a good team missing some key players in the midfield, I tell you. If we have Locatelli, look, Locatelli, McKenny, and Arthur as a starting 4-3-3 midfield. On the bench, you have a young Fagioli that wants to play, that is a smart player. You have a Bentancur, you have a Rabiot. You have six complementary midfielders. We have a really great defenders with Chiellini, De Ligt and with uh, Bonucci. The fourth one, is it Demiral, is it Rugani, is it Dragujin? It's the fourth defender, okay? Uh, on the right, we are covered with Danilo and Quadrado. We miss a bit something on the left because Alexandro alone, it's difficult. Luca Pellegrini is impressing Allegri from what I heard. It's not at the moment uh, impressing me, but I don't see his training. So let's see. In the front, you have Dybala, you have Ronaldo, you have Morata, you have Kulusevski, you have Chiesa. So the team is really valid. Eh? 
for me is really valid. We miss slightly adjustments. We had the disaster year with Sarri because he wanted to change the way and the DNA of uh, Juventus. I wanted to change that as well. He failed, but he still won the Scudetto. And then it started in the middle of the Serie A with a pandemic. And then we had the trainer Pirlo. Probably we took a bit a big risk. It was too big for him. And we go back to Allegri. <coughs> to answer really short to your question, Colo, where can we finish? In Serie A, I believe that we can win it. I really believe and really believe that we can win it. If you want to make me a bit more cautious, I would tell you top three. But I really believe that we can win it, Serie A. If you tell me, can we win the Champions League? Then I tell you, all the stars has to be aligned. No injuries. Playing the teams when we have to play them. Because we are fit. Because we are healthy. Uh, because we have no problems in the locker rooms. Because we are a big family. Uh, because the other team receive a yellow, uh, uh, two yellow cards and then they are not playing. All the stars aligning and then we can win it. But I would not put uh, too much money today. But Carlo, what I wanted to show you is this. Carlo, tell us. Rate, rate, rate this shirt, Carlo. Eh, wait, wait. Let me put it in real, real lightning, guys. Oh, seriously guys this this is a beauty look at the details the shirt Coppa Italia badge here with the with the J you see the J here mamma mia what a shirt what a shirt 8.5 for Colo 8.5 I love the shirt I think at the moment with the Mercato we have I will go for a for a McKenney Beautiful shirt, beautiful shirt. And uh, I also want to know about Colo. You know, Colo is an artist. Colo, we need your opinion about this one. I will not reveal because I don't want to influence my opinion about that. Uh, but tell me, Colo, what's your rating first impression of that leaked shirt in Texas in an Adidas store today? Uh, 10, and 10 on 10 when Beppe is wearing it. I love that. I love that comment, guys. I love that comment. Best comment of the world. Wait. Soon. Soon. Eh? Uh, I will complete. Look. Home. Home 22 with Chiesa. Home 22 with Chiesa. McKenny. Probably. I'm speaking without Mercato, eh? And then we have to go crazy with that one. But really crazy on that one. I don't know. Maybe Quadrado. That's a Quadrado shirt. This, this smells Quadrado. Chiesa, ma Kenny Quadrado. It's beautiful, huh? <laughs> the yellow ah okay now I understand Colo Colo said 8.5 for the awake it but if I'm wearing it it's a 10 on 10 but the yellow one uh, fa schifo it, it dislike a lot 2 on 10 on that one no don't exaggerate you are exaggerating guys uh, my friend GT ciao my friend uh, from uh, uh, UK who's saying ciao my fellow baldy because we love her uh, I'm looking forward to Pjanic, Rabiot and Locatelli running the midfield hey you know that Pjanic I would not go immediately for Pjanic eh? I said it I repeat it as a B plan as a B plan uh, he has the experience he knows Juve he knows Allegri but then I want to take him for free and I want him to lower his salary. Yeah, pay attention, pay attention. Pay attention. Bernardeschi on the shirt. No, guys. Bernardeschi will not be there anymore. He will not be there. Grazie, GT. So what are you saying? 
Colin was saying to Julian, he's saying, uh, what is Julian saying? He said something. Uh, that's what I said as well. Uh, Julian is agrees with Colo. Uh, third jersey is McKenny for me, if I'm going to buy it. Hey, hey, you see, the third can be a McKenny and the second one... Uh, wait, when I go to Torino, I will stamp the players on it and then I will decide. This is beach party kit. Once we win the Champions League, you see, Mohamed is already in the future, is living ahead. Absolutely yes, absolutely yes. You go with that, with that one, guys. Seriously, you go with that one on the beach without. First, you have the beautiful sneakers. By the way, watch, watch the sneakers. Wait here, wait here. seriously seriously guys this is a bomb of a shoe my new shoe new shoe guys seriously look at that Bwah. that shoe is revolution i was i was going with that to do my vaccine today the people were looking at my shoes i believe that the the girl the woman that was uh, doing me the the vaccine she wanted to buy the same shoes amazing 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 shoes this one you go with that one huh you go with that one with uh with a short denim short you go with that with that third jersey you go on the beach then you take your shoes you put them away on the beach beautiful beautiful the shirt the shoes a comfort Comfort in these shoes, you can't imagine. I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not sponsored by Adidas huh? yet, yet. Uh, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible. Some people were saying to me, Giuseppe, the Ultra Boost 21, they are really great for running. Running. It's, it's show, it's show, guys. It's show, it's only show. It's not about running. Ciao Marco. Uh, Beppe, should Da Grassa uh, be our fourth striker? Un saluto della Sicilia. Uh, but I love him because he's Sicilian, like Marco, like me. And then you hope that these guys, uh, Co Cosimo, goes in the first uh, team. Huh? He looks promising, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, the price is 160 pound. Uh, in euro, they were 180 pounds. The Ultra Boost, yes. You can find them with a discount on some sites, but pay attention because this color, this particular color, is uh, nearly sold out. Huh? So if you, uh, there are different colors. It's true. Uh, today I'm going for a Ron the Ronaldo drink water. Uh, what is the name of the shoes? Ultra Boost 21. What's my height? Uh, guys, I'm at least, at least as big as Rabiot. Ciao Beppe, do you think uh, Juve will improve with Allegri because he's a better coach? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm super confident on that. Super confident. Absolutely. Uh, no st no sneakers. There are there are some sneakers. Wait, where? No, that's the other one. Look, the sneakers are there. They are just there, in case after the life I can uh, eat some. I bought Ultra Boost yesterday. You see, they are great, huh? Ciao, Marco. What do you think about 4-3-3 with Chinese left wing? Who's Chinese left wing? Chiesa, probably. Tell me it's Chiesa. Marco. It's Chiesa, right? Chiesa. Chiesa left wing. I think it's Chiesa. 
can't it can't be a Chinese because I don't know about the Chinese uh, left wing. So Chiesa left wing, Ronaldo striker, uh, Dybala left wing again two who drift inside and Quadrado so right wing probably who drift inside and Quadrado overlaps like uh, Spinazzola for Italy. Yes. Uh, uh, it can be it can be I prefer to see Chiesa on the right uh, but then you will, you can't put Dybala on the left because Dybala he loves to enter and to go with his left foot um, and Chiesa can play on the left we saw it with Italy as well the problem is convincing Ronaldo because in a 4-2-3-1 it's one thing in a 4-3-3 playing there it's not always easy eh? so you have to convince Ronaldo if he believes in that position why not uh, and then it will be really easy for Quadrado overlapping because uh, Dybala the good thing is that he's unpredictable the Bad thing is that he's just changing his position. He's going a lot of time more centrally in the field. So it makes sense. Huh? It makes totally sense. Uh, it's the autocorrect. Absolutely. No, it's funny. I, I was thinking, who's the Chinese? Did we buy a Chinese? Maybe I didn't know. Uh, Chao King. King. Uh, ah, look, look at King. The King, he thought about it. Huh? He has put, if I'm not wrong, huh? Barcelona with a vomit emoji, then uh, a white. Uh, I think it's for. Uh, uh, I think it's everything, yeah. And with the A2, so it's a you know it's a logo that he was thinking about. He he doesn't like Barcelona a lot. It looks like. Um, I'm doing good, Jean. Un grand merci, thank you. The ball on the wing, I don't recommend. In a 4 3, 3 it's a fake wing. Eh? You know, it's like a falso nueve. Here we have a fake wing. Uh, because it's not really a winger, because on the wing he can't. But I'm not a big fan of uh, Dybala in a 4 3, 3 on the right. Eh? If we really have to play 4 3, 3 then I prefer him like a falso nueve. Uh, just bought the way sh uh, shirt with Chiesa name. Love it. Eh bien, elle est belle, elle est belle, Sylvain. Le maillot est beau. What do you think about Renato to Juve? No, I don't believe so. I think Fagioli has to play as a mezzala, not a regista, because he is really creative. What do you think? I need to discover Fagioli a bit more. It's hard for me. Uh, it's really hard for me to give an honest opinion uh, for Fagioli. I saw a few games of him under 23, Primavera. I want to see him uh, with a big team before really judging. Uh, he can play the ball and the guy can play the ball. Uh, he's smart. So I need to to see before before seeing but it makes sense how uh, what you are saying makes sense grazie Mohammed. let's see if we uh achieved uh, some likes today 161 mamma mia we are far away huh? no, 180 and then we do the the music yeah huh? 180 we do the music before that we don't do the music <laughs> 180 180 likes we do the music in Italy, Ronaldo can't play as a number nine. Difference is high. It's tr that's that's one of the problems because Ronaldo is a smart guy. Yeah, he's really a smart guy. He knows that in Italy you have less space than in Spain, and than in the Premier League or in Portugal. He knows that, or also with national teams, and that's why he doesn't really like to play as a number nine because defenders they they stick on him and he doesn't have the space. To go from far away and to enter like he loves to do. Um, if you if he was in another league like at Barcelona, uh, Real Madrid and so on, he loves to play as well as a number nine. So he will need to be convinced by Massimiliano Allegri. 165. I know today the people uh, they are not they are not putting the likes. So guys, we had a really nice life. We spoke about the shirts a lot. Uh, I showed you the the shirt. 
we spoke about Fagioli, we spoke about the midfield, we spoke about uh, Juventus being uh, able to win the Scudetto, yes or no, ma can he focus <laughs> Demiral to Atalanta? Um, what else? One more question and then we close. Try to, uh, first we have to say ha happy birthday to Rabob Chap, who's saying, Hi Jay, today is my birthday. Can you tell my na uh, me about the situation about Ronaldo and Chiesa? Bah, well, situation. Chiesa, there is no situation at all. Eh? I heard that the Manchester City is entering the run to buy him, but who cares? They can enter the run how long they want. They will not have Chiesa. Forget about it. Immediately. Uh... Think about your birthday, go to bed, enjoy, uh, wherever in the world you are, happy birthday, dream easily, peacefully, because Chiesa yes, is going nowhere. Ronaldo, La latest rumors are saying that he stays at Juve, but there is still, still something that would... Um, We are not today. I'm not 100% sure to tell you Ronaldo stays. I believe he stays. I want him to stay. I think he will stay. But I, I will not promise you. We have a few days. Oh, we didn't speak about. Uh, we didn't speak about Padoin. It's true. It's really true. That's a great news. Grande Andar. James has sent me a message. Let me check the message. Uh. Let me check the message. Oof. Look at that. I can't open it here on the computer. It's really nice. Nicely done with all the players per position in a... Wait, uh, in a... Uh, can I see it? Yeah. 4, 2, 1, 3. Yeah. With Weston McKinney, Paolo Dybala can play there. It's really great. It's really great. Uh, Federico Chiesa on the left. Ronaldo as a number seven. As a number nine with uh, Morata. Kulusevski on the right with uh, Bernardeschi. Quadrado with Dybala. So we have a, we have a lot and there. Uh, that's why I believe that Bernardeschi can play on the left as well. Uh, oh, it makes sense. It makes sense, uh, James. Absolutely sense. I loved uh, the way that you build it. Uh, uh, people are saying happy birthday to our guy Rabob and Andar is saying actually and that's the last news we will close with we will speak about Padoin so let me check about Padoin uh, let me go and check the news about Padoin where is it really nice news and it's really funny eh? really funny Look at that. Here is our boy. Our boy, Padoin. Tug life. Tug life with uh, Padoin. Because actually you have uh, Rugani is hugging him. Then you have uh, Dybala is asking. He's really asking, will you stay? And he said yes. So we have uh, uh, Padoin who is officially entering the team of Massimiliano Allegri. If you're going to the site, <laughs> what are you saying? Beautiful picture of uh, Padoin. Actually, he became more beautiful now than he was. Huh? So they are saying uh, a welcome that we really love uh, in the group of Juventus. We are speaking about Simone Padoin, that from today is officially part of the technical staff. He will be a collaborator of Mesmiliano Allegri. Uh, as we were saying, we are speaking about a return, a comeback that we really appreciate. Padoin uh, was wearing the black and white shirt from 2012 until 2016. He won five Scudetti, two Coppa Italia, three Supercoppa. That's 10 titles for Padoin. Eh? He starts a new journey again in the black and white family. Welcome back, Simone. 
e buon lavoro. Welcome back Simone and we wish you a good work. Uh, why are we the older supporters really excited? Uh, it's because Simone Padoin is actually a player that he was not great. Let's be honest, he was not a phenomenal. We are not speaking about Zinedine Zidane. We are not speaking about uh, Edgar Davids. We are not speaking about uh, the top. Ah, I put my finger in my eyes, guys. You saw it live? Ah. It's okay, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, we are not speaking about Il Fenomeno, but he was a player that was giving everything on the field. Really everything, everything on the field, fighting, and we, we love that. The players that are going to fight for, for Juventus. And uh, uh, we call him as well Il Talismano, the lucky charm, because uh, we said that with him we never lose. Uh, grande. One day he even played in the role of Pirlo. When Pirlo left Juve, one game... It was one of the first games of the season where actually uh, he played in the role of Pirlo, a disaster. It was a disaster guy, disaster. We will not exaggerate, but nobody was angry with Padoin because uh, we loved him. So the lucky charm, Padoin will come back and we are super happy for that. Thank you, Andar, to tell me to uh, speak about it because I totally forgot to speak about it. It's true. Grande Andar, friend of the channel. So what's the role? He will be a collaborator, technical collaborator. So I believe that he starts his career to go and become a coach, a trainer at Juventus, uh, not at Juventus, uh, starting a, a, a coaching uh, career. And that's why, you know, sometimes you have the, the kind of assistants that are new, that wants to learn, probably something that a, a Pirlo could do. For example, Zinedine Zidane was a collaborator of Ancelotti. He did it for, I believe, one year, and then he went to Castilla, the second team of Real Madrid, for two years to train as a head coach the youngsters. And then he became the, the head coach of the first team. But the first start of Zinedine Zidane was a um, collaborator, like uh, Padoin, of Ancelotti. That was the first role. And the, the, Antonio Conte was a collaborator of, I don't remember who, before going to uh, uh, to all the other teams, Arezzo, I believe, uh, was his first team in uh, second division. So uh, a lot of coaches are doing that. Huh? Coach, we can't call them coach, but they are actually collaborators. And then they start or with youngsters or in a minor team, and then they continue. It's a great start, huh? and I believe it's uh, uh, deserved because, uh, you know, you have this player, they have some uh, uh, affinity, affinity with the coach. They are really respectful. Uh, they are important for the locker room. Uh, they don't create chaos and so on and so on. You know, these kind of players like a Birindelli and so on. Um, it's the birthday of our friend, uh, where is he, where is he, James, where is the comment of James? Is it the birthday of James as well? Or maybe I'm wrong. I know, it's true, it's true, I was not wrong. It's my birthday too. Grande, happy birthday, auguri James, Azzo pardi, auguri to James, I'm super happy as well, so... Pioggia, let's put a, a maximum of, uh, of uh, likes for the birthday of uh, James. We are hitting 181 likes, so what does that mean as promised? Thank you guys, you are fantastic. We are in closing time. Uh, every time I'm saying uh, I, uh, I want to stop and then we continue. Uh, you are simply amazing. It's really fun to do the midnight lives. I love them. I really love them. Spending time with you is really great. Uh, ciao Silva. 
Ciao Thomas, ciao Jacob, ciao Ryan, home of Juve, Roberto Gallo, Enzo Petris, Andar Sofian, my friend, Hamid, Sam Mikalev, G Tarik. Good night to everyone or have a nice evening wherever in your world you are. If you are in Australia, good morning. Uh, enjoy your day at work uh, because it's already Friday there. You're already in the morning. Grande. As always, forza. Juve.